How are you, my friend? How are you? Well, let me the beauty of this. Let me see the beauty of this stupidity. Can you, can you mute you too, please? Yeah, yeah, I'll mute it, brother. Yeah, okay. All right, what do you like to say to us? You're a Muslim, right? Yeah, 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 100%, yeah. All right, huh? I like to be 100 Muslim. I, mean, I don't like Muslims who they are. Alhamdulillah, ala na'mat al-Islam. Ah, okay. It's na'mat that Allah has given us. Okay, what is na'mat al-Islam? Explain to us, what does that mean? The name that we've been uh, given by by God to be born as Muslims. What does that mean? So the name I'm not sure in uh, English how to really translate it. I can I can translate for you. Blessing, you blessing. Translate it, you Arab, blessing. Okay, Arab, blessing. So so what is the, what is the blessing that you are born? How and, and how you can how you can be born as a Muslim? Explain to us, please. Oh, of course. When your parents are Muslim, you're born into a. Everyone's born. Oh, look, from what we believe. Hmm. Everyone's born as a Muslim. All right. And it's a yeah. So I am born as a Muslim, correct? Exactly. Okay. So yeah. I am born as a Muslim. All right. And why I'm not a Muslim no more? Because you went. Look, everyone's got their own um, opinions. That they grow up. For example, you go. Uh, your parents or whatever it could be. You've looked into other things, hmm. and it's led you to something else. Look, oh. I'm not I'm not saying I don't dispute you, uh, Christian Prince. No problem. Everyone's got their own. Let, let me ask you about this. I, I just I don't find anything wrong with the Quran at all. Okay. I, I, I listen to you. I've, I, I look. I listen to you guys, and I respect what you put forward. No problem. No problem, my you friend. Know, I my, my friend. Anything wrong? But as I as I forgive your. As long you mention that everybody is born as a Muslim, and this is your choice to mention it. If a child, he is, if he is a child born of a Muslim family. And obviously, he is born of a Muslim already, as, as you said, and he is born from a, uh, from a Muslim family. He will go to heaven or to hell. And if, and, and if, he's, uh, if, he, uh, what, if he's a young kid? Yes, he is, let us say, he is an infant, six months old. old. He dies. He dies. He dies. Okay, he go where? He, he, go, to, he go to heaven he or he, he go to hell? Look, uh, that's for the scholars to, to, or, you know, to judge. No, what do, what do you mean to this color? So, so what, what, okay, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said to me, Islam is a blessing for us, and a simple question is not a blessing for you. Obviously, you are a trumpeting, you have no answer. No, 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 I'm not I mean, why you need a, but why you need a scholar, why you need a scholar, if a, if a, if a child, he is six, six months old, and he is born as a Muslim, so, and he died as a Muslim, so why he would not go to heaven? He will, he will go to, he will, he will go to heaven. I think he will go to heaven. Is, okay, what if I show you then that Muhammad say no? Yeah, look, it's, uh, you know, show, show us and we can talk. All right. But I, yeah, no. No problem. This is your prophet <clears throat> speaking to Aisha, and this is Sahih Hadith. Yep. Aisha, she said, about a child who passed away, he is a child of Al-Ansar, and they are Muslim, as you know, Ansar, right? Yep. Okay. Aisha, she said, oh, Messenger of Allah, after the funeral of this child. Even Muhammad was at the funeral, imagine. And you know that you Muslim, you will not pray on somebody unless he's a Muslim in the funeral. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. so Allah Messenger, she said to him, there is a happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise. For he com for it commit no sin, nor has reached the age when one co can commit sin. Okay, Aisha makes sense. Right? It makes sense. He yeah, did not commit sin. So, no, has it reached the age? Yep. Yeah. So, look what Muhammad said. He said, Aisha, <laughs> per adventure, which means don't be silly, fair fool. It might be the otherwise. <laughs> otherwise. Allah's messenger, there is happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise. For he committed no sin, nor has he reached the age when when one can commit sin. He said, Aisha, per adventure, it may be otherwise because God created for paradise those who are fit for it while they were yet in their father's loins and created for hell those who are to go to hell. He created them for hell while they were yet in their father's loins. It may be otherwise. It may be otherwise. Hmm. So? It may. It may be otherwise. But this, what is the beauty? Okay, what, what kind of a beauty? Okay, you said to me Islam is a blessing and now you are saying to me if you die and you are six months old, you might go to hell. And you are saying to me it's a blessing for us to be a Muslim? It's, it, it is. It is. Look, we, look. That that it may be otherwise. So it could be otherwise. Who's got the, the, the proper translation for it? We don't know. Look, <laughs> my friend. What public translation? This is your tra this is your Muslim website. This is your translation. What's wrong with you, you? You know Arabic. I can show it to you in Arabic. Here we go. Huh. Huh. 
Here we go. Oh, here the Dalek Aisha. Inna Allah khalaq al jannah ahla ahlan. So Aisha can be the opposite. It can be not the different from what you are saying, because Allah He created for hell people of hell. So He might go to hell. So. How Islam is a beautiful, and yet you are teaching us that a little child who is six months old, he did not reach the age of any sin, he could never commit sin, he might go to hell. Where is justice? <laughs> look, uh, we, look, I, look, I understand where, where that phrase is coming from, hmm. but it's, it's not, it's not, it's saying it might, it not, it's not going to actually, it's, it, it, it didn't say, look, he's going to hell because he's not a Muslim. No, he said that. You know, no, he said that. No, 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 he said that because he said there's, there's other option. She assuming that there's only one option. He is a child born of a Muslim family, born as a Muslim, as you said, everybody is born as a Muslim. And now he did not even commit sin, so this guarantee he will go to heaven. He said, no, it might be the otherwise. So there's one of two options. It's not only one option. He might go to hell or might go to heaven, depending on how Allah decide when he created him, <laughs> after, after he was born. So according to Islam, it's a destiny. So if his destiny, when Allah, he created him to go to hell, he will go to hell. It doesn't matter if he commits sin or not. And that make Islam not, uh, okay, so that make Islam not a, a beautiful religion. Make Islam an ugly, stupid religion because we're justice. Yeah, look, uh, the explanation for it. We, we as Muslims believe that, uh, that uh, things we don't understand, uh, you know, properly, we, we take it to someone who can translate it in a better way. I know, I know he says it may be otherwise. Hmm. It may be otherwise. Allah knows best. My friend, you translate that for us. No problem. You speak Arabic. Here we go. I will put for you in Arabic in the front of your eyes. No, no, no. Hello. Go. Ah, here we go. Read it. Don't, no, don't give me an excuse of translation. I mean, this is your, this is your Islamic no, no, translation. No, 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 no. I'm not, I won't give you excuses. Okay. No excuses. It's there. Whatever is there is there. Okay. Okay. So either you translate for us. Either you tra If you don't like the Muslim translation, you give us translation. Here we go. We have it in Arabic. It says it clearly, it might be the other, the other way. So, Muhammad making it clear that you might go to hell even if you are a baby born child who never commits sin. Question, what kind of religion this religion is? Why he, somebody will okay, go to hell? So you, okay. Hmm. Let me ask you. In Allah hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. In Allah khalaqa lil jannah ahlan khalaqa hum laha wa hum fi aslabi abaihim. <laughs> and by the way, what kind of religion teach you that you were in the backbone of your father? Since when we are coming from the backbone? What, so what do Christians say about where, where, do, where do we come from? What do you mean what Christian says? Uh, like what, what do, if, if, if the Quran says uh, uh, from the backbone, where, where do Christians say? The Christian don't go in details of science, you know, like, you know, we believe God, he created us and God, he made men and women and he gave them ability to re, you know, pr uh, produce as simple as that. But the Bible did not go and make uh, like, uh, you know, uh, it's coming from here, it's coming from there. But your God, he did. What kind of God he mentioned that the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man. And not only that, he mentioned that the sperm is coming from the ribs of the women. Since when women have a sperm? And since when it's coming from the, the upper side of the ribs? The location of the upper necklace. Huh. So what kind of God this God is? Islam is a beautiful. Huh? Child will go to hell. God, he thinks that sperm coming from the backbone. Women have a sperm coming from the top side of their chest, which means the location of where, where, the, where the neck and the chest is connected. And Islam is a beautiful. I don't know what is beautiful. I mean, are you saying to me, stupidity is beautiful? No, 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 no. It, it, look, it's, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot, a lot of things beautiful about it. Okay, but I'm so, I'm showing you. Okay, so you are saying those things are stupid, but there's other things that are beautiful. No, no, I'm not saying they're stupid. No, never. Okay, no problem. So I want to. Okay, okay, okay my friend, my friend, too. my friend. No, you have to tell me then. If you don't believe they are stupid, then how you agree? Do you agree with Allah when He say that women have a sperm coming from the upper side of her chest? Look, I've never heard that. That's uh, if I answer you, I'll be lying to you. Okay. If I answer no you, problem. Wrongly, this, this is why we are talking. You are talking to me, my friend. So I'm here to help you. No problem. Right. I appreciate your honesty. I will show it to you in the screen. Here we go. This is a chapter 86, verse number one, and two, and a three, all the way to ten. All right, and eleven. Here, here we go. This is the verses speaking about something very funny, very stupid. Look at the human being. How is he created? He is created from gushing forth water, okay? 
Where is this gas in four water? Let's read together. I don't know if you can see the screen. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone and the, of the man and the ribs of the woman, which referring to her chest. <laughs> okay. The word, the word taraib, as long as you know Arabic, you can go right now and search the dictionary. You will find taraib is a, is, a, is, a, is a bone of a woman, not for man, which is the location of the necklace of the woman. You know, like where the, uh, 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 like you, you're, if you put your, your finger, your finger in your neck, down your neck to your chest, that is the location of taraib. So according to your God, man have a sperm coming from his bone, backbone, and women have a sperm coming from the location of the that ribs in the in the in the top of her chest. How in the it's, and it says here it says here huh? the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman the, is a fluid is yellow. This is the woman in fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them. The I.e. their sexual fluid. So the Quran teach that human being, women and men, and men both of them they have sexual fluid gushing forth, which means orgasm, and that will create the baby. This is can be true if he's talking only about the sperm and then the sperm go to the egg. Okay, that will be fine, but but the egg is not gushing fluid. The egg is the not the of the man and the ribs of the woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so what we will do now. How the Quran is how Islam is a beautiful, but Islam teaching stupid things. Is that the beautiful stupid? Yeah. Look, um, I'm writing them down because I want to run it by someone. I want to get um the translation or uh, the explanation of this one. With well, this oh, explanation, look, wait, wait. this is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir, my friend. Ibn Kathir, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. No, no. So what do you need to get explained? We go. We have the explanation. Yeah, sexual fluid, the backbone of the man and the ribs. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 No problem. No problem. There's a problem, right? No, here? Look, I look, I look, I know it's a problem, but I look, I not, not a problem in a if you're educated about it and you've got more knowledge. Mm. You know how to answer. I mean, there should be. You know, when we we can ask someone that's more knowledgeable in Islam more than me. Okay, forget about you this. Know? You see, I'm not going to make it difficult for you. Tell me something beautiful. Yeah. Forget about everything I said. We start from zero again. <laughs> Tell me something beautiful about Islam. Go ahead. Look, uh, you know, of the you know the modesty of a woman. The let us talk about modesty of a Okay, and, uh, let us talk. Hold on, one by one, one by one, my friend, one by one. Modesty of woman is muta is a modesty. A muta is for Shia. I'm a Sunni. That's not I true. That's Muta. not. That's not true. That, that's not true. Muta is a verse in the. Khattab, I know he's the one that my friend, the my friend, is. Muta is in the Quran. Is it in the Quran or it is in Mickey Mouse magazine? No, you know, if, if, can you show me where it's in the Quran, please? Chapter four, verse twenty-four. Okay. Hmm. So what we will do Chapter now? Chapter four, verse twenty-four. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Is that the hadith you just brought up now? Or we can show you tons. We can show you tons of hadith, and we can show you the interpretation of the Quran as you wish, whatever you want. No worries. Huh. Okay. Hmm. So what we will do now? You say this is for the Shia. Quran was for the Shia only. You must not do for the Quran. No, no, no. Hmm. Quran, no. I'm not saying that. No disrespect to them, uh, but hmm. I'm saying that uh, I think they they believe in the Mata. Hmm. Hmm. It says here, "From the Tum Bihi Min Hunna Fatu Hunna Ujura Hunna Farida." Whatever you enjoy with it, which means the vagina, so pay them for what you enjoy. It doesn't say that from a stamp datum, you can stamp that with a lot of things in life. No, my friend, here about, no, here, here, my friend, here is about women, not about anything. And it says bihi, 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 minhunna, bihi, from their vagina. This is bihi, go to their private part. So, from this, time, this is why this is why I must stand. This is why I must stand. He will not he will not pay the wages unless he have sex. So you don't pay unless you have sex. So here you have to pay. It says ujurahun. Is ujurahun mean wages? Okay. So why are you paying women wages? This is not the worry. This is wages. Is she an employee for you? Is she a prostitute? Yes, she is a prostitute. Why you are paying her wages? It's a dairy. It could be a dairy before. No, 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 no. You see, no. This is not. A, no, this is not. Here we go. Let us let us go to the hadith and make it more clear. Hmm. Farida, surrender to them the dairy as com compensation in in other area. Allah said. <laughs> Here we go. You're a prophet encouraging Muslim men and women to go to the elevator, have sex for three days, three nights. 
if they like to increase, they can increase. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. You cannot say it's weak. Is that your prophet saying so? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's happened. No, it's... Where, where, where did you? You're on um. There you now. Hmm. I think I got a bit of the. Allah's apostle said, if a man and a woman agree to marry temporarily, the marriage should last for three. Hmm. What? what the, so, uh, by the way, I want to ask you. You speak Arabic. Did you see the word marry? I mean, why Muslim they lie when they translate? What is the word marry? Whereabouts? Allah Subhanahu said, if a man and a woman agree to marry temporarily. Where, where it says marry? Where it says marry in the Arabic? Here we go. I put the Arabic for you. Do you see the word marry? Oh, the Arabic translation. Yeah. So the translation is a lie. It doesn't say anyone anywhere marry. It says ayyuma rajulun wa imra'a rajulun wa imra'a tawafaqa fa isharatun fa isharatu isra isra sharing bed together. <laughs> so how this became marriage, and why why they are putting the word marriage there? Like, come to an agreement. Huh. It can be come to an agreement. Okay, um, yeah. For Ishra. Okay, for Ishra. What Ishra mean? Ishra means uh, back together in a way. Or? Hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much. He slept with her. You know, anyone, you, you speak Arabic. So, anyone, he sleep with the women, men and women, they agree to sleep together through three days, three nights. If they like to increase, they increase. What kind of beautiful religion this religion is? And then you say, and there he's, that uh, uh, Ali made it clear that the Prophet said, Muta, marriage has been cancelled. <laughs> After the Prophet's death. Hold on. Oh. It doesn't matter. I mean, uh, what, uh, do you think Allah, he find that he was wrong by allowing Muta, so he cancelled it? Who is the one who cancelled it? Allah or Muhammad? Uh, no, nah, Muhammad, I think. Uh, uh, Muhammad cancelled it. Okay, how, how Muhammad can cancel the law of Allah? Is he the God? Or say, you do muta'ah, you take a woman for three days, three nights in the elevator, and you do boom, boom. She agree with you to get paid? You agree for payment? You agree for the happen? He found that he is stupid. He need to change it. He found he's smart. What? He found there's a wrong he here? Found, he found he wasn't worthy for that time that they give it. He wasn't worthy for to keep it. Him, the, Allah knows. Allah knows everything. But he's given. It's like Allah knows, you know, if I'm going to jump. He's gonna, he knows I'm going to jump off the cliff. But I still do. Hmm. Why? Hmm. So Allah's given us uh, our own uh, so we can think, we can choose. It could be that. Look, I'm not making a uh, making an explanation, but to me, but is wrong, completely. So Allah was wrong. Even, even no, 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 no. Look, there's different translations. I've spoken to scholars. They said to me, hmm. you know, even even if marrying four, for example, I'm not jumping to topic. I, I love my wife. I'm married to my wife. If I can't be equal to all of them, I won't get married again. It's simple. It gives me that uh, thing not to to ask you exactly what to do. Hmm. And what to do? He says, and look, there's a lot of things that need explanation. I'm not saying to you, no. Look, you bring forth, you know, it's, uh, you bring forth good arguments that gets us thinking that we didn't know. I'm not saying you don't, you know. Hmm. And that's why I listen to you, Christian Prince. So, so you are yeah. saying that Allah, He was. Uh, teaching you prostitution, and he was good God. No, no, but I'm not saying that. But I, I can't, and I can't on top of that say to you he's not a good God, because that's not enough evidence or for me to judge or leave Islam. You know, being born as a Muslim and growing up and in in a Muslim family, that you know, we there has to be more explanation for me to think otherwise i can't say to you straight away oh he's not a good god you mm. know you won't be good for me mm. to say about anyone even your god or jewish god mm. from no, i respect everyone everyone's views and i respect your view too no i don't i don't I I, no i see for me i don't agree with you i am not going to respect the view of any any uh, islamic uh, no. belief no, no. because you're islam there to do you're an apologist you, you're there to put forward arguments i mean Hmm. That's I don't find it wrong. 
you know, I'll go find anything wrong with what you're doing at the end of the day. Mm. You know, everyone's got their um, their beliefs and you're putting forward, you, you know, but I speak to people. So, okay, me, oh, my, my friend, my friend. Let's, let's, okay, so the, the marriage is not a beautiful Islam. Obviously, there's muta marrying for women. You are saying you will not be just with women. Uh, uh, and, but yet he allow you to have four. You can beat them. What What do you think about beating women in Islam? Do you think it's right to beat a, your wife? No, I don't believe it's right to beat a dog. Okay. Let alone uh, your woman. But I mean, I mean uh, is it what well, with the miswak, doesn't it? What miswak? Miswak is a miswak is a. Wife, I, I, I believe Muslim women are the most respected. Like, okay, my friend. Do you know you what know? Do you know what miswak is? Miswak, yeah, yeah, for the for the teeth, for you know, to clean the teeth. But do you know how big it is? It's small. It's a tree, it my friend. Is. It's a tree. So when they say no, to it's you, it's from the tree. It's from yeah. Yeah, when you say to, when they say to you, miswak, they are making fun of you. They are talking about something they put in their mouth, right? But this is a root, very flexible root. You can beat a camel with it. It is not a little tiny piece of thing. Let me show you a picture. This is the miswak, my friend. This is what Muslim they use to beat their wives with. This is after they cut it. This is after they cut it pieces. You see, they cut it pieces. You can tell this is long root, very flexible. So you can beat with it your camel. You beat with it with your donkey. You beat with it your horse, and you beat with it now your wife. And you are telling me this is the thing you chin your mouth with. So you know they lie to us. You know they say to us it's a toothbrush. This is a tree root. Very flexible. Prince, Prince, a Muslim woman, at the end of the day, we, you, we all argue. We all argue with their wives. We all push. We all do what we have to do. I don't believe a Muslim will beat his wife okay. to bed. All right. Uh, not, like, so uh, let me ask day. you: if, if 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 a person he came to Muhammad and he did beat his wife, who is going to take the, Muhammad will take the side of who? The man or the woman? Uh, it's gonna be just. Uh, you, you gotta you gotta see. You gotta see who was in the, in the wrong. Look, it's it's wrong to beat, but at the end of the day, we're human beings. So, uh, so what, what, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, know, what do you mean just? No, what do you mean just? If a man he beat his wife, he can be just by beating his wife. He can be just. No, in no, 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 no. This is no, 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 no. I'm against beating your wife. No, okay. Of course. Yeah. Okay. So, you shouldn't beat anyone. so, so you are against the Quran saying beat your wife? No, no, no. Where does it say that? Chapter four, verse number thirty-four. Fadri Bohun. Yeah, I mean, you know the word and you're asking me where it is. No, 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 for dribble, no, 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 but what, what's it say, uh, for dribble on, for, with what? <laughs> it doesn't matter, you beat, beat them, it says beat them. <laughs> beat them with what, who care? <laughs> no, no, but... I mean, he, no, he, no, need, he need even to tell you to beat them with what? <laughs> Allah, but look, he sent down the prophet to put everything forward to us. Every everything like Allah mentioned said. If I okay, thank you. Me, so so okay. Uh, where, where, no problem. Put it for me, please. Okay. Where okay. where it says to you beat them with the miswak? You mentioned to me the miswak. Where Allah said to you beat them with the miswak? That's a hadith. It's what? not in the Quran. Give me the hadith. The hadith. I'm gonna bring it up for you because I'm listening to you and I'm talking. No problem. I will give I will give you your time. Uh, and I showed you the miswak. The and I showed you already. Okay, you see, okay. you see, you just get yourself in trouble now. You said in the yeah, hadith. That's all right. That's no, all right. Okay, you said in the hadith, Muhammad said, beat them with the miswak. But here we go, this is the miswak. The miswak is a very tough, ugly piece of, 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 of wood. You beat your wife with this, yeah, and you are saying make, to me. You make it small and use it for your teeth. Huh? No, this is a. This is a, well, this, a my, friend, a my, my friend, they are making it now small because it became commercial. At that time, they don't make it small. The reason they, the Arab, they, they, they chew with it because simply they beat their animals with it. It's in their hand always. So he put the other hand in his mouth. It is a long route. Now, because it became expensive, it's a big business now. Uh, everything's a business, even okay. uh, with but, Christianity. But we are, we are talking about the miswak as it is for those Bedouin who you can just grab it from the ground. Men are the protectors and maintainers of a woman. Allah okay. has given some of them an advantage over others, and because they spend out of their wealth, the good mm. women are obedient, guarding what Allah would have them guard. Mm. As for those from who you fear disloyalty, mm. or you put it in Arabic now, yeah? Mm. <coughs> I, I was reading it. Sorry. Hmm. And? Well, it's gone from the screen, hasn't it? 
Yeah, you know, anyway, I, I put it back, you know, I was because I was trying to show you the miswak. But, yeah, but, but let us way. stop, let us stop here. Men are protectors and maintainers of women because they spend some money on them? How that can be? I mean, so, so Khadija, she was spending money on Muhammad. Can she beat Muhammad? No, men, men what, you, what was it again? Men are the protectors of women, yeah? Okay, how protector of the women because they, because they are spending their money they are they have advantage over others <laughs> you know why the man is giving advantage because he spent his money in the women so the women she is not a trust she is not respected for she is not the one who supports herself that's what the Quran is saying so because you spend some money on a woman you beat her no, 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 that's not. Well, the, this is what the verse read it. This is what the verse. This is what saying. Read it because. Who is the one? Who is the one? Who is the one? Of course. Okay. Yeah. My, my, friend, my friend. 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 Why? Why? As for those from who you fear disloyalty, admonish them and abandon them in their beds and strike them. If they obey you, seek no way against. Yeah, I can't see the other one. Hmm. Okay. So, Look, uh, so, so the purpose, so the purpose of beating, the purpose of beating is to make them obey, obey you, correct? Yeah. But look, look at the warnings beforehand. What warning? Guarding what Allah would have them guard. As for those from who you fear disloyalty, uh -huh. admonish them, uh -huh. abandon them in bed, mm -hmm. and then strike them. Oh, well, first of all, it doesn't say any of what you are saying. Let us show you in Arabic. Let me show you what it says in Arabic. It says, "Those who takhafuna nushudahun." What nushuz mean? Nushudahun. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, that I'm not sure, man. To be honest. Okay. If a man he do nushuz, can the woman beat him? The same act. The same act. Not different act. No, of course not. Okay. So why, if the man he do shoes, the woman she can't beat him. But if the woman she do shoes, what do shoes? You say to your wife, make some tea for me. She said uh, later. So now she disobey you. Now it's up to you. You can jail her in her room. You can scream at her, and you can beat her. Do as you wish. All of this because she is doing such a thing. And if a man he is doing the same. What if the man he stopped sleeping with the wife? Can the wife beat him? No. Okay. You're a prophet. He did, you're a prophet. He didn't shoes. You're a prophet. He didn't shoes with Sauda bin Tudema. Here we go. I will show you the same exact word. Huh? How come when Muhammad he do such a thing? And this is a chapter four, <laughs> verse number one twenty eight. The same chapter. If a woman she is afraid that her husband. He have no shoes. Read it carefully. وَهِنْ إِمْرَأَ خَافَتْ مِنْ بَعْلِهَا نُشُودًا أَوْ إِعْرَاضًا فَلَا جَنَحَ عَلَيْهَا أَنْ يَصَالِحُ بَيْنَهُمَا I mean, how come she cannot beat him? So that she been forced. She gave her day to, to, uh, to Muhammad, to, to Aisha, sorry. Because she heard Muhammad, he don't want her no more. He want to divorce her because she became old. And I'm describing what the hadith says. She became old, big and fat and slow. So for that reason, Muhammad didn't want to sleep with her no more. He wanted to sleep with the young one. She heard the news that Muhammad, now he had no shoes from her. He didn't want her no more. He's going to divorce her. So she ran to Aisha. She said to her, I will give you my day. Please ask him not to divorce me. I'm old. Where I will go now? Where I will go? I'm old. You know, the man, he abused her all her life. And now he want to dump her. So Aisha, she told Muhammad, let us make an agreement. She will stay your wife, but she will give me your day. This way your wife, she cannot complain because I'm going to have that day by the agreement. And here we go. Allah make a verse about the agreement between Aisha and Sauda about Muhammad sleeping with Aisha at that night. <laughs> Look like Allah, he have nothing to do in his office except make an agreement between a guy and two women. They want to sleep with him. <laughs> really? Uh, look, we go back to the topic. So, if the woman she do the same act, if, if, if the woman she refused to, to sleep with the husband, we beat her in Islam. But if the man, as we see here, Muhammad, he refused to sleep with the wife, we cannot beat Muhammad, we cannot beat men. So, what kind of, what is justice? 
Why both? They, let us say, let us say, refusing to sleep with their husband is a crime, and refusing to sleep with the wife is a crime in Islam. Why is the crime of Muhammad or the crime of Muslim men have no punishment or penalty? It's okay, but a woman she will be punished. Remember, a woman she have only one husband. A man he have four, which means if, he, if this Muhammad have thirteen, so Muhammad he stop sleeping with one. Instead, he have many women to sleep with him. But if a woman her husband not sleeping with her, she have no other choice except to cheat. I mean, the, the man's got a high, a high desire, so he's given he's given us uh, the opportunity to to marry four. Hmm. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah. I'll look. I don't find anything wrong with that. So do you think that marrying four is an opportunity or a stupid thing? Look, marrying four, uh -huh. if you can if you can uh, be equal uh -huh. and you're helping out, for example, she's got kids and mm. you can you can cover cover, you know, look after them and that there's nothing wrong with it. Mm. This is opportunity. No, why not? There's nothing wrong. We've got high desires. Like I'm gonna be honest with you. I, do you like to have a free wife, a free woman in your bed? Not in my bed. Of course, you can't have them in your bed. You, you can, can have one night here, one night there. Oh, okay. You can't have them. You can't do threesome. Okay. No. Uh, is it allowed for a Muslim? Is it allowed for a Muslim man to bring a woman to the bed of the wife and sleep with her in the bed no. of the wife? No. No. What? Well, bring it to the bed of the uh, while she's in the bed. No, she is not in the bed. But let's say this is her bedroom. Can you bring a woman? No, no I wouldn't do it. No. Why? Why? Why, why you would not do it? Because it's rude. Even though you, you know, you've married. And like I said to you, to marry the four, hmm. you can't just do it for my desire. Because okay. I want to. So when Muhammad he had sex would marry the cop in the bed of his wife. You said this is wrong. It's a it's, it, you know, if it's there, if it's written in that hadith and that, look, it's a prophet. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you. Hmm. No problem. Until now, you failed, my friend, to give me anything beautiful. We found that in Islam, we beat women. In Islam, we abuse women. In Islam, women, she have no value. In Islam, she is just a, a property we own. And just ask, um, in Christianity, does it say to stay away from your wife because she's got her period? This is in the Old Testament, and what? So what if you have a period? You know, this is this is the, because this is this is okay. Hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, let me show you something. You are the one who mentioned something, and you know, I, 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 you know me, right? You know that when you mention something, you have to be careful. You have to, okay. Yeah, that's so right. let me ask you: In the Old Testament, is speaking about things men should not do with women. As an example, if a woman she have her period. In, in, in the Quran it says the same but did Muhammad stay away from the women when they have their period? If a woman fears maltreatment or desertion from things no. not falling in the Okay, I'm asking you, I'm asking you the Quran says stay away from the women when they have their period That's right Okay, did Muhammad stay away from the women when they have their period? It's in the Quran so it's sort of, it's sort of said. This is not the question, I'm asking you Did Muhammad stay away from the women? The Quran say, stay away from the women. Chapter 2, That's verse right. number 222, and chapter, you know, uh, uh, actually this is the chapter speaking about it. Speaking about, stay away from women when they have demonstration. What if I show you that Muhammad, he got horny when women, they have menstruation. And he used to fund, and he used, yeah, sahih, and he used to fund the Aisha when she had menstruation. You know, she's got her menstruation uh -huh. without touching her from the inside. Uh -huh. But but you say to me, what well, he slept with uh, with someone while she had a period? Uh -huh. Well, so the Quran says, don't stay away from them. How Muhammad is fondling the women, ordering her to put a sheet between her legs, and she's bleeding, and then he is doing. You know, we don't want to give details. Why, why he is doing that? I mean, he, the guy, he has 13 wives. Can't he go to the women? She don't have, all of them, they have period in the same night? Yeah. What? And they ask you about menstruation, say, no, oh, so keep away from women through menstruation and do not approach them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but how, 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 how Muhammad do you do that? <laughs> I mean, don't, don't you think this is, don't you, don't you think? They can do, I don't want to talk here. But I'm saying that he doesn't have to sleep with her like, <coughs> like physically and wash. Not physically. That that's that's it. The women, the women, the women. She is bleeding. This is not the time to touch a woman. 
The Quran says to you, stay away from them when they have their period. So how in the world Muhammad is not following the Quran? It says that in the Quran, yeah, that's right. Okay, so, so how Muhammad he do that? Uh, look, this, uh, I'm not sure, mate, to be honest. Your woman are cultivating for you, so approach. Hmm. You know, you like it, sit. Hmm. And that we'll, verse, you yeah. We'll uh, clarify that and we'll get back to you. Hmm. And that verse you are, yeah. and that verse you are mentioning to me is ugly, don't you think so? Your wife is the same as a tooth, so approach your wife as you wish. What kind of God he say that? Where where they say that? You just mention it. Yeah. No, no, it's like, are you, well. my friend, are you aware of what you are saying? You just said in an Isa Akum No, 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 you're very you're very well prepared. You're uh Look, even though I'm Muslim, like I can see the comments people are writing. Uh -huh. He destroyed. He didn't just. It's not destroying me. It's you're prepared. You've been doing this for a long time. You've studied our Islam more than us. It's a, it's a shame for us not knowing our religion. That's one thing I want to say about us. Okay. You know. No, it's a no. Shame for us, we don't know our religion. Like My friend, these questions no. you're asking me, it hasn't crossed me. Okay. Like I'm being honest with you, it hasn't crossed me. It hasn't come. It hasn't put for. You know, I haven't. I haven't heard it before. Hmm. So you're very well prepared. Hmm. So what we will do now? How a God, he say women are the same as a tooth for you. Dig in your tooth as you wish. What kind of God he speak in such a language about women? Do you really think that women are the same as a ground and you are digging in the ground as you wish? As you wish? <laughs> what? what? I was reading that, I was reading <laughs> what are you reading? Chapter 2, verse number 2, 2, 3, my friend. Yeah. 2, 2, 3. Hmm. Hmm. Your woman are cultivation for you, so approach your cultivation whenever you like and set a head for yourselves mm. and fear Allah and know that you will meet him and give good news to the believers. Mm. <laughs> and do not allow your oaths in Allah's name to hear you from virtue and righteous and make him peace. Is that beautiful? Yeah, no, I was just reading it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that beautiful? Look, there's things we have to go over. I like Christianity, like a lot of Christians on here. Do hmm. they know their Bible? Like all they know is the love verses. But if you go inside the Bible, the, the, you read. There's a lot of things that we need answers for. Hmm. We like the Quran too. Hmm. It's not our fault. It's the people well, that are out did, there. Did did the Bible says you can do such a thing with your women? Can you show me? Oh, look, the, the Bible talks about a lot of things. you got Ezekiel 23. Uh, hmm. uh, there's, there's a lot of things in the Bible too. What about, well, tell me what Ezekiel 23 is saying. What is, what's wrong with Sorry? it? Sorry? What Ezekiel 23 is saying. Go ahead. Well, let, let me, I'll show you. Uh, there, there's a lot of things now. We opened it now. Hmm. I'll just try to put you on speak question, please, right? No, don't worry. I will put it on the screen here too. But what what's wrong with it? Uh, okay. I'll, I'll get it for you in just two seconds. Sorry. Hmm. There's a lot of things in, even in the Bible, like, we yeah, need, need answers So, what, what about it? Sorry, I'm not as prepared as you. My friend, okay. my friend, Ezekiel okay, so 23. Son of man, there were two women, daughters of the same mother. Hmm. Sorry, excuse my language, everyone. Hmm. They became prostitutes in Egypt, engaging hmm. in prostitution hmm. for their youth. She gave herself as a prostitute to all the elite of hmm. the Assyrians hmm. and defiled herself with all the idols of everyone. She lusted after it's Bible, Ezekiel 23. Okay, why well you stop, continue, and then you will see that what you said with my respect to you. Do you allow me, is it okay if I call you stupid now? Look, look, why is that? Because this uh, is, sorry, if, sorry, you, sorry, if you read, if you read the verse after it, you will see, speaking about two cities, this is not about women and men. This is about two cities who commit sin. They are away from God. One is called Ohalia, uh, is a Samira, uh, <laughs> and uh, Ohiba is, is Jerusalem. So you are because so, so you're um you're correcting. So you're telling us to read uh, the Bible, uh -huh. but when we when we go to the Quran, 
You don't want us to read the one before and after. No, you can't read. How we go? No, no. You, you see, each time read. I no, I never so said to you. No, 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 no. Be honest with me. No, 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 no. Be honest with me. Be honest with me. When I did not allow you to read the one before it and the one after it, never. No, you didn't. You didn't. No, no, no. Okay. You, no, you didn't. So, it wouldn't even go for okay. you, to be honest. So here I'm saying to you, you how you assume that this is about people having sex as you claim. When they, uh, if you continue reading the verse, you will see this is about two cities, two location, two two territory. They commit sin against God. This is have nothing to do with men or women. Like the last time you were saying, give me a verse in the Quran where it says. A rape, there's a, there's a punishment for rape. Uh, give me a verse in the, like, give me a verse where we can't sleep with animals, but we know it's wrong. You know, okay. We know, we know it's wrong. Okay, we that is okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. What if I show you right now that even you can sleep with animals during the Hajj? <laughs> Come on, man. Like, where does it say that? You've got. Oh, look, you're prepared for everything. I understand. Mm. But where does it say that? Mm. Okay. You, can, you can sleep with um, animals when you're going to Hajj. Okay. Is it? Sorry, we're jumping to everything, Christian Prince. No problem. But look, I like talking to you, yeah? All right, okay, here we go. Let us see. I will show you what 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 it says in Islam. <clears throat> I will put it for you on the screen. You speak Arabic, and then I will use Google Translate. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. This is your Islamic website, islamweb.com, with .net. Do you see the, do you see the, the, the title? Your women are killed for you to cultivate. So go no, 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 just okay. A refresh the page is going to come to you, You're taking time maybe. Okay, okay. All right. Here is Islam that web, okay, and they are quoting from Islamic books. And this is a very famous Islamic book about what is going to destroy or let us say make your Hajj invalid. Here it says. ولا فرق بين الوط في القبل والدبر بين من آدمي أو بهما وبه قال الشافعي الشافعي etc 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 okay and then he continues saying ومن وطاء بهما وطاء البهما إن الحج لا يفسد به the one who do yeah الحج لا يفسد به read it here we go let me zoom in for you وهو قول مالك وهو قول مالك وأبي حنيفة. If you have sex with an animal, your Hajj is valid. And this is the most popular. This is all the sect of Abi Hanifa and uh, Malik. Hmm? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. 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 Ok
what this you know, have this, what this have to do what this have to do what this have to do with our topic and no Christianity is about love Jesus says love your enemy what what do you want more what do you love want the enemy, yeah. yeah what do you want more than yeah. loving your enemy I mean if, if your enemy you have to love him what is left yeah but even in, in our religion we love our enemies show me where is the verse that says love your enemy this, yeah, you have to love them. It's in the Quran, I think. Where it says that? It doesn't say, it doesn't say love your enemies like uh, the way you've put it. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't say that. Hmm. You will quote for me a verse that the mother of Aisha, she came to give her a gift. Muhammad, he said it's okay to take a gift from her. <laughs> I mean, look, okay, I mean, look at this scam, Muhammad. Just because the woman she is bringing a gift, she refused to believe in Muhammad. Just because she is bringing something to the house, and Muhammad says it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah. No, no, mm. Look, look, it's, uh, you put forward great arguments. All right. Uh, my, my, just, uh, my, my friend, my friend, do you have a sheikh he can call me? We do. We do have a lot. You know, look, I've spoken to people already that I wanted. You don't want to do that? Why? That I want to. Nah. Why? That I, that I want to. That apparently, uh, that been, you've been refuted already. But I can't see any videos of you being refuted. I've been refuted already? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... I've, t I've spoken to a few people before and I've put forward the argument because I've been listening to you for a long time, yeah? Hmm. Not just you, Sam Shimon, David Wood. I, I listen, I, I like to know a lot. And, and you know, I'm not um, ignorant. All right. Yeah. No problem. So, my friend, we will give opportunity to other Muslim to call us so to see yeah, no may, maybe no someone worries. maybe no someone problem. else can do better. If you have a sheikh to call us, please call us. Okay. No problem. No All worries. right. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. See ya. All right. Any Muslim would like to call us? Who want to show us something beautiful about Islam? Any Muslim? All Muslim can refute me, by the way, but by but they don't debate me. I mean, it's so easy to refute Christian friends. I mean, it doesn't say that, CP. Very easy.